Again, you are given this simple circuit with a battery, maximum voltage is epsilon, electromotive force, and you are given the also the internal resistance of the battery. The question is, you should select the load resistance so that the, max, uh, the power dissipated in this load resistance that you will choose should be maximum. Well, you can think this way. If you increase R, because what is the power uh, through any load resistance, it is just the current flowing through this, uh, this uh, resistance, current flowing squared, I squared times R, right? If you increase R, you can think that you will increase the power, right? Because I, I squared times R. But if you increase R, you will decrease I, right? I will be decreasing. Well, if you decrease uh, R, the load resistance then, I will increase, right? But, but there is a like this. So what to do? First of all, let's express this power in terms of the given uh, values in the problem. So I know what I is, right? I can calculate from symbolically. It is just uh, the epsilon here, epsilon divided by R plus smaller, right? Let's uh, write this down. So the power dissipated from the load resistor. This is the expression for the power dissipated from the load resistor, R. In terms of the electromotive force provided by the battery, in, in terms of the uh, resistance of the load, and also we have the expression for the internal resistance of the uh, battery. So you see here, only one quantity is constant, which is epsilon. Epsilon doesn't change at all. But when you increase R, well, when you increase R, you can think, you can think if this is the only term, epsilon square R, you will increase PR. But we have also the expression for R in the denominator. And you will increase the denominator. Right? Yeah. Well... If you decrease R, then, if you look at only the denominator, if you make the denominator small, then you get a larger expression. But the thing is, you have the expression R in the denominator also. Yeah. For example, if you bring this R to zero, well, you can think that this will maximize this ratio if you think only epsilon square and these terms. But the thing is, you have also the multiplication factor in the... And if you make R is equal to zero, then you get zero power. So there must be some uh, quantity for R, which is maximum. If you go away from this maximum quantity, the power will decrease in both ways. Well, what thing, good. What thing that you should do is, if you have a computer plotter, then just give this expression for constant epsilon and change R for constant also R. This uh, small r is also constant. It is given to you. You cannot change epsilon and r. These are fixed. But the only thing is you will change r. If you plot this quantity, uh, pr, with respect to r, then you will obtain this curve. Right? Well, this is completely numerical analysis. Right? Put it everything in the computer. Computer will give you this. So, clearly you see there is this x is r, the load resistance, there is some quantity for r that makes this p maximum at this point. And this point right corresponds to this load resistance is equal to the internal resistance of the battery. Whenever you make the load resistance equal to the internal resistance of the battery, then you can get maximum power out from this load resistance and you will get maximum energy from the circuit. And this is important for you, again, 
because you will design some electrical circuits in future that the, there must be something, some property of these circuits uh, work. For example, uh, you may, they may ask you to give a maximum power output from your circuit. Then what you will do is this. Well, how do you find this R analytically since you have the expression and you have only one variable is changing, which is the capital R. If you take the derivative of this expression with respect to R and equal to zero, that means maximizing or minimizing in calculus that you are doing, right? Uh, then you will find an expression for uh, the capital R in terms of small r. Let's do this. Take the derivative of this power with respect to capital R, and you get this expression, okay? In the nominator, we have these expressions only uh, depending on the capital R and the small r. So if you equate this expression to zero and solve for capital R, you will find r is equal to small r. Okay? So if you want to design a circuit that gives you maximum energy, then this is the thing that you should do.